guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you're new here though, hello, what up? This is gonna be a video on how I reuse, recycle, DIY my candles. I know. Do you guys remember when I first mentioned this? Don't worry, because I don't either. It's been that long. I said I was gonna do this forever and I'm finally getting around to it. I feel like it's because like I was like doing the candles, like reusing, like getting the wax out of them and not realizing that I said I wanted to film it and then it was already done. So like I had no candles to like use for this video. We can ignore this. I did this to my wall, what was it, last year when I took down the calendar? I got a new calendar, or I need to get a new calendar. So we can ignore this happening because, yeah. I feel like now is the time of year when we're like buying a ton of candles, or we had just bought a ton of candles for like the holiday season. We were gifted a ton of candles, and so we're using them all up. And it's like, what do we do with the jars, the pretty jars the candles came in? You don't wanna just like throw them away. You can easily reuse them for a ton of different stuff. I love doing this because I need a lot of storage things and I like for some items to have clear containers to like organize my stuff in. So I have a few that I've already cleaned out. These were once candles and I burned through the candles, took out all the wax and now it's a really pretty storage. Looks very expensivo, class high, very nice. So this was a candle that I got just from like TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure you guys probably saw it in a haul. I don't know if you can see it better on this side, but this actually sits in my bedroom and it usually houses like my crystal bracelets, just they're not really in here right now. It just has like these little charcoal ones that my sister actually made, super pretty, to keep them like all in one place. This was actually a Makers of Wax Goods candle, one of the best. Cleaned it out, used it as storage. I have this guy that now I use as storage. This one was a Yankee Candle Company candle. So I went through the whole candle, cleaned out the wax, and now I keep my acne dots in it. You can reuse your candles. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it because I feel like there's a lot of different ways you can do this and I'm pretty sure there's probably a ton of people that do it the same exact way. But I just want to bring it to you guys so that you guys can see because some people have asked me because like I said, I did mention this that I was gonna do this video. Oh my God, I'm dropping things. I did mention that I was gonna do this video like a while ago, just now getting around to it. So I'm finally doing it so that you guys can see how to do it because I've gotten questions of how I clean out and reuse all of these candles that I buy. This guy, see it's got like just a little bit of wax left in there, but it's like just the amount that like, it doesn't wanna burn it. It has gone through the wick. So we've got like a good amount of wax still in there. Like that's frustrating. That is so frustrating to see the amount of wax that is still at the bottom of this candle. But but because the wick is done, it won't burn anymore. So we're gonna take that out. I even have like chunks of wax just like sitting around that I already cleaned out of candles. Here is another little small one. This is a Yankee candle because Yankee candles just like where it's at. A balsam and cedar Christmas one. This is a little baby one. This also has little pieces from a candle that I already cleaned out. I need to sneeze now that I smell that. And these are actually the same candle because they are my number one, numero uno favorito candle scent of all freaking time. It is the Yankee Candle North Pole. Apparently it's their newer version of the peppermint bark. So I've got two of these candles. And so these are like the same jar that has my acne dots. So let's get on into this. This is super, super, super easy. I might have to film this over like two days because usually I move them from the fridge to the freezer and then I like break it apart or whatever. We'll get into it. See, obviously, you're going to need your candles that you want to clean out that only has a little bit left in there. The wick will no longer burn, but there's still wax in there. You want to reuse the container. So much to say. You're also going to need hot water, boiling hot water. There's two ways of doing that. Well, possibly. I guess there's a few ways of doing it, but whatever. So you can do it this way. This is usually how I do it just because it's got a lot of room in here. It takes a little longer, though. We're gonna cook the water. I'm really sorry, I don't wanna film this way because like all the sunspots are like all over me, I know. But this is probably the best way because you're also getting like a ton of water. It does take a lot longer though because there's so much water in it and you're like cooking it on the stove or whatever. Hopefully though, this gives me enough water for like all of the candles. We're just gonna cook that at. There we go. The other way you can do that, very, very easy, but I don't really recommend it because you might not really get the water like piping, boiling hot, is just microwave some water. And you guys, I'm really sorry if I'm like not in focus right now. I don't have an autofocus camera because that's like the poor light that I live. We're gonna take this and just put it in the microwave until it's boiling. You'll know it's boiling when it starts to like bubble over. I don't really like doing it this way, but I mean, if you don't have a pot thing like that or like something else, like a heat warmer, like a water cooker, I don't know what they're called. You can just put it in the microwave. I don't know how long it takes to like boil water in the microwave. I'm gonna put it for two minutes because I'm not actually gonna use this right now because I don't like doing it this way. 
We would just microwave your water until it bubbles, which means it's boiling. But I have water on my stove that I'm actually gonna use, even though it's gonna take like 20 minutes to cook. This is the waiting for my water to boil dance. Waiting for my water to boil dance. An hour later, it's hot and ready. All you do is pour it into the candles and it's gonna melt the wax. The wax is gonna melt up into the water and like create like a little top part. I know because this one's kind of far away, but I have one that's like close for you also. All right, but so you just pour the water in here. I usually pour it like pretty close to the top. I don't know why, I just do. Because you want to give it enough space though. See how caliente? You want to give like it enough room to like actually melt off of here. Otherwise, it's, if you don't put that much water, if your wax is like only to like here, you only put like this much water, it, it, like where is it melting to? Nowhere. So you got to give it like water space, you know? Put the water up high. Just, just do it. All right. So there's the green one. It's a going. We got these two. And even how like those two Yankee candles, my like North Pole ones, it has like a uh, kind of cinches in a little bit. Like it's got like a really skinny mini waist. Cinches in. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you guys how to get through that issue once it's done melting. Unless I'm going to add it to the last one. And then you just let it sit. I love though too that you can like smell your candles when this is happening. It like will put some of the fragrance out like basically because it's like melting and burning the wax. But so you just let that happen for a while. I don't really know where to stand. I can't win with like the sun. It's literally shining right in through this window right here. So that's gonna be all over my face. We can just like ignore it, whatever. But just wait and let the candle melt as much as possible with that warm water sitting on it. And then once it's cooled down, like you're not, there's no more smoking of it, like it's cooled to the touch, I move it to my fridge, the refrigerator. You don't want to put like super hot water in there because it'll mess up the temperature of your fridge. But also if you put it into the fridge too early, it defeats the purpose of melting the wax. You want it to fully melt as much wax from the bottom of your container of your little candle jar as possible. As possible. You might have to do this process twice two times through that's usually how i do it also because sometimes the wick does have like a little metal disc at the bottom that most of the time even though all the wax comes up from the bottom of the jar usually that wick the glue stays at the bottom of it and you want that to come off also so i usually suggest doing this two times through unless you have a super small candle or it just didn't really have that much wax left at the bottom and then the glue on the wick isn't that strong how many times have i said the word wick, candle wick. This is just the first time through. Once it's cold, the water is completely cooled down, not hot at all. Don't do anything to it, just move it straight. These are still like slightly warm to the touch, but they're not like burning hot anymore, like steaming hot. Basically all of the wax came from the bottom up. So it like melted up from the bottom and now it's up at the top. Looks like this one was actually the only one that like still has wax down at the bottom that's gonna need to come up. But I, I'm gonna do all of these through a second time because all of them still have the wicks stuck to the bottom. But so now this is just the first time through. I'm gonna put them in my fridge. So I'm just gonna sit these one by one in my fridge. I'm gonna move these avocados. <laughs> so now we gotta freeze those a little bit. It just makes them a little bit easier to handle. You don't necessarily need to go through this first round of putting it in the fridge. I just, I think it's easier. I just heated up some water. Grab everything out of the fridge, in the fridge. to take out now the wax is just floating on top of the water these ones that like cinch in that have like a little waist at the top so you know, like their shape like cinches in a little bit you can kind of see that it can be a little bit trickier to get the wax out because you have to like break the wax in half but for these ones that are just like one single shape it's a lot easier so I'm gonna pour this out over my sink actually there we go see you can just Pull out the wax, and then you've got wax that you can reuse. I'm just set that guy aside. And then obviously you pour out the water. So this one, the whole bottom part that like, came out, this is like the wick and everything. But there's like still a little, like a few pieces of wax, just like you can kind of see it on the glass. So I'm gonna run hot water through it just one more time just to get everything off the edges. And then basically this one will be done. So let's take 
this one out. This one's pretty easy too. Would you look at that, guys? This one still had like a lot, like a good amount of wax at the bottom still. So we're definitely gonna have to do this one a second time to get everything off of there. Now these ones that are shaped like this are a little bit harder to get the wax out because you gotta break it in half. So I just use a knife, you gotta be very careful. Ah, this is definitely not for children. I guess pour some of the water out first. And then I just kind of like chop it to break it in half. Kind of, I don't wanna crack my jar though, that's the thing. Just cut it into little pieces. This one actually came off really nicely too, but I probably will run hot water through it again. The wick came off of the middle. Yay, some of them come off easier than other ones, you know? This one actually, I rinsed it out, and it looks like basically everything came off of it, so maybe it doesn't need to go with hot water again. I'm just not realizing how much of this candle was like left. This is like super thick. Oh my God. So I have hot water, so I'm just gonna pour the hot water in these one more time just to get anything extra out of it. This one obviously really needs it. So now while these are steaming and all the yummy smells are coming off of them. So to get the stickers off, if you wanna reuse these jars, a lot of times I kind of let them soak in water for a little bit, like fill them with water here, and then maybe sit them in like a bigger bowl so that the stickers are sitting in water. And then after that, you just peel off as much of the sticker as you can. And then if you use like a Brillo pad and just scrub, scrub it off with regular dishwashing soap, usually it comes right off. You can always use Goo Gone also after you peel off the sticker. We're basically done. So we're just gonna let these sit through. Um, what I like to tell people too, if you still can't get stuff like off of the bottom, like the glue with like the wick off of the bottom, after you put it in the fridge and it's cooled down in the fridge some, if you put it in the freezer, it really like just like congelados everything off of it and you should be able to scrape off the glue with the wick at the bottom also if you're finding it a little bit harder to get it off. Little tip too, I kind of don't really like leaving them with the hot water directly on my countertop because I have like marble or whatever countertop. I don't even know what this is actually. I get scared that it's gonna mess up my countertop so I never leave it sitting directly on here either I always like sit on top of something else usually if I have like a cutting board even just like a little like thing that you use to take out hot pots hot pots just sit it on top of something so it's not sitting directly with boiling water on your countertop just a little tip you can use these little pieces and just put them on a wax warmer. If you have a candle where the, like, the wick will still burn, it doesn't really have to have that much candle left in it, but I usually add it to like a full candle. If I wanna just add the pieces to like a candle that's still burning, if it's like up to there or something, I'll light the candle, or I guess you would put the pieces in first because that's safer. Dip that in there, light your candle, it'll melt with the rest of the candle and it'll mix in there. So easy. Like I said, put these on a wax warmer because I think I have like two of them, but I usually just add them to candles I'm already burning. But so yeah, so that is everything for this video. That is how I take my candles that will no longer burn because the wick has given up on us and it will not burn the rest of the wax through. But you don't wanna throw out your wax and you wanna keep the pretty little container. So this is just how I upcycle, recycle, DIY, reuse, recycle my candle containers and also save the west, west west of the wax the rest of the wax so that you're not wasting it especially for like expensive candles you know come on so i hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you guys find it enjoyable and maybe helpful let me know in the comments below if you guys have already been doing this or if there's like a slightly different way or a different way completely that you guys take out the wax and reuse your candles let me know i love hearing from you guys give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it pretty sure i've already said that and subscribe if you have not hit the little bell subscribe notification to alert you when I post new videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, finally posting it. Muchísimas gracias for watching it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.